Um, okay, I actually had four minutes of this recorded, but my CPU was getting... It was, it, I had it too high of a quality set on OB, so I had to turn it down a little bit to what I normally do it at. Uh, but basically what I talked about in this game was your early reaper that you did. Do a 17 the SCV scout versus Terran now. It's like... <clears throat> I, I've i always been doing the uh, scouting the SCV after the barracks is done, but it seems like doing a 17 scout in TBT might actually be the best thing to do. You can find out if they're doing a reaper cheese. And I commented earlier that the one reaper you went is really risky because then if he does like a reaper cheese or two racks reaper you could get overwhelmed really quickly so you might want to make an extra reaper too and then you get a good scan you see that he's got this third cc normally what you would do is with a build like this also is that you get your third cc as well so i think the third cc should be down already i normally do have mine down by now He's doing a pretty safe build. It's gonna be kinda hard to break him. But honestly, if you ever notice that they're gonna play greedy like this, you should just drop back here. Especially in a map like this. I don't know if you will. We'll see here in a second, but it would be better to drop back here. But this is actually not bad for you. This is honestly game over right now. You could easily take out that team. Okay, so let's look at your follow-up. You just get your third. This is a little bit late. The third is a little bit late. You get the third before the two barracks. Um, and then you would get the barracks. He's playing pretty standard. He did his follow-up a little wrong. He could actually have way more out. But he did it. This is actually kind of pretty standard in TVT. It's a bit it's a variation, but it's about the same. This is pretty good though. This is really good pressure adding on. I guess you just be careful of the money that you float with this and make sure you get your gases saturated. Um, and at about this time you don't want to be up to 5 raxes. So I guess it's just like the general tip now is just like to produce better. And then also... Um, normally I either just lift the barracks off and make a tech lab on it or swap it with this factory and like I talked about the swapping and you could instead of making the re the reactor and the starport uh, just put it on top of this one. So I think your transition is better. This is really good though for you. Yeah, so you could have you could have already have had the stem started with the barracks a long time ago. Uh, I'm trying to think of other things here. Yeah, fourth and fifth racks are missing. I think you could have your two eBay's on the way too. But so far, this seems pretty good. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn the sound off. It's too loud. Too loud. Okay. Um. So, I wouldn't try to force your way to like take out his tanks. Like at a certain point, just like sit here and let him just feel pressured, because he is still mining. He's got. Uh, I mean, he's still like okay. He's still in the game, and he still could be okay. He's got an upgrade advantage. So I wouldn't try to like, you don't have to kill him here, just force him to like deal with it. 
So I think you might over micro the tanks just a tad. Like you don't have to like some of them are really good, but it's just like in this like uh, moving them forward to take damage like that doesn't really do much. But I do think that your follow up is just not as good as it could be. Like I think your your third base could almost be saturated too. Like being better on SV production and stuff. And he could have had more stuff at his base. So, like, right now you're floating a lot. So, yeah, just building more. Uh, there's even some, like, idle time on some of your uh, production. But, yeah, this barrack should have been added, like, a long time ago. You want to have 4th and 5th barracks, your two eBays. And then get your gases at your 3rd. And you should be pretty close to saturated at your third. I mean, I think there should be like 10 SCVs here already. If you uh, follow up on the uh, SCV production rate. And then STEM would be done by now. To, with the, uh, with doing the barracks correctly. Um, one thing you could do is you could do a medevac drop back here with this just put some marine pressure he's got nothing to defend it because he's pretty dead I mean if you went back over here with the marines and then dropped the vikings down or something I don't know he'd have to pull his SCVs away but yeah it seems like your biggest problem is just your follow up Oh, he's getting like a bunch of missile turrets. Yeah, you're so ahead right now. Um, but yeah. And like versus like a good TVT too, like getting these barracks down at a good timing is like huge. Like getting these down at a good timing is like everything. Because you both like made a lot of mistakes. And he's like, he's got a lot of floated money. And like he could still come back in this game because he's actually like, he's got 2-2 two -two ready available. So he's going to have an upgrade up on you. And you guys, I guess you have a little bit more workers. I just think uh, you could be a little bit stronger in worker production in the early game. And I think this game would have ended sooner, but I don't think... I know your comment was that uh, you just didn't feel as strong as normal. I think that this is... This is pretty dominating. It's just that the follow up, like I've said like a bunch of times, it's like it's like everything about Terran. You know, like that that follow up in the early game not being as strong probably was the reason why you didn't end the game as soon as you should have. And like you could have combat done by now too. Cause like I was talking about the uh, the barracks could swap or something with the factory. But you still end up like, I still think that this is a pretty dominant game to win. I think you did pretty good. I wouldn't feel bad about this. They're like, they're just small things that will be huge. Because this game really wasn't even close. There's just little things like your third was definitely very late. Uh, let's go back here. Let's look at something. So right about, I build the, you get the medevac, make marines, oh yeah, you got supply blocked, uh, okay, you got unsupply blocked, but you had, okay, good, alright, that was good. I'm pretty sure you should be able to fit a CC right now. I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd even have pushed out at this time. Uh, 
Oh, okay, so right there, this second tank that you made, I would have cut that second tank. So right here, you're floating some money, and you had 400. I would have put the CC down now. It'd be a little, it, it would definitely be way later than his, but that's how I would have done it. But let me show you, I guess I'll just like do a little bit of a build order here. Um, I'm going to take control of you. It's going to give me a victory, but it's fine. All right, I got to re-key bind everything here. Okay, so... So I'm going to do like a drop in his main, and then this is when I would get the third CC to follow up. So I'm going to cut like one tank out just for a little bit to do this. And I'm going to do a drop like this. Now I'm going to be making tanks again. And, you know, I can, you know, lift this up, put this on there. And you see like, I, I'm, if, let's say I want to prioritize tanks and stuff. This would be my transition. And this is out on the map about to go drop him. And I like to get Vikings to follow up. And then I think this gas might be taken too soon. And then here's my two barracks. I'm gonna go in for the drop. Now I'll go ahead and take all my gases. And then I'd have this drop in his main or in his natural. And he'd have to pick up and stuff depending on how many units he had at the time. And I'll go ahead and make two more Vikings. Oops, I already got that saturated. I get supply blocks. But you see how like I'm following up, you know, he does all this stuff, you know. If I need to save the tanks, that's the important thing. So like I would definitely save the tanks no matter what. And then, you know, like if you're winning, you know, you could go to the double eBay now or the fourth and fifth racks. Because you know he's playing greedy. Normally, if they're playing greedy, I would just go to two eBays. Get my reactor follow up. I'm going to go ahead and start. I, have, I only get up to four Vikings. You see how I'm still making SCVs and stuff. And then now I'm pretty safe. I mean, he can't, even if I lost all these Marines, I mean, how is he really going to break into me? And I can get my double Ebays now. And you see how I was talking about, like, you could have 10 SCVs there already. So, like, there's just some small things. Like, I already have, I think it was, like, 8 minutes in, he didn't even have 10 there. And like it's just a difference, just like a small difference. I take my two gases here. Oh, I have an extra thing queued up there. Um, I do have a problem lately of getting supply blocked at this at this time in the game, but it just takes practice. And then you know you could pick up these tanks. If you're at home, you don't have to pick them up like this. Um, I have extra gas now, so now I can get the. Uh, so everything's queued up. I got my one one. It tanks on the way. My two medevacs. So that's a good time, and then I'm going to get my combat. I think I could have started a little sooner, maybe it just, I don't know, but it's at 8 minutes and I'm at 146 supply. So that, that's just the difference, I guess. Like, the follow-up is huge. You know, this would have done a lot of damage back here, and like, you know, I could attack from the front, I could drop over here, you know, I mean, I could even unsiege some of that stuff and do, a, do like a doom drop back here or something, who knows. But there's like so much that I can do in this game. Get my armory to follow up 2 2. So this is just like how I follow up. And I'm leaving everything back at home for a counterattack. You know, obviously, be scanning and stuff to see what's going on. 
doing whatever you need to do to win the game. But yeah, that's that's what I would work on. Follow up and just uh, the uh, your macro while doing all that stuff. It's just gonna take practice. Um, and let's go ahead and go to the next one. Hopefully that didn't lag. If it did, I guess you kind of have like the, the overall point of it. So this is your TVZ. And your notes for this one are pretty straightforward macro game. Wondering if my response to his pressure was good. Okay, so. I'm going to try to make this one a little quicker than the last one. I'm not going to do like a build or anything. Alright, so let's check something out here. Um, okay, so you send your SCV out. You got the Reaper. Okay, so everything looks good so far. Let me tone it down just a little bit. So right now, no SC built. That was on faster times too, but it's just like, I, and like I'm being picky, but this is stuff I look at in my replays too. But early game, you should never really miss SCVs. All right, so 313, good timing to go in. Oh, go around his base though. You wanna check to see what's going on. So right now, the third not being there is pretty weird. If I was there with the Reaper, the third should be down by 315 for sure. I'm pretty sure you realize that. Yeah, and just watch out being supply block because this is, this is definitely... This supply block in the early game is like hurts a lot. Um... But yeah, you want to get in with the Reaper so you know what's going on a little sooner. Because even right now, I don't really know what could be happening. All I know is that there's two base, right? Like, it could be probably two base mutas. Like, it could be a lot of things. I would just be scared of something two base. And I'd, I don't know if I'd be out on the map. But everything looks good. Your follow-up looks pretty good on everything. You see that's a late third. Uh, I don't think you need two bunkers. But yeah, I wouldn't go in. If they're on two bases like that, I wouldn't go in with the Hellions. He already did the damage to himself. See, like, you're even on Harvesters, like... You don't need to go sacrifice Hellions on a two base Zerg. And you probably just want to finish the wall off with the with the bunker in the front. Cause I don't think he should even have gotten in like he did. But I mean this is fine. I mean you're still doing okay. I wouldn't salvage him though. I would keep at least one bunker to finish the wall. This is something like I used to do it all the time in Hard This Swarm. I would always build a ball, and I haven't been doing that lately because some maps you just can't. But I've been building bunkers a lot more in this matchup. Muta <clears throat> mutas are out. It's pretty obvious that his, his mutas are actually really, really, really late for being two base muta. This is actually super late. You, normally, two base muta hits at like 530, I think. So it's pretty fast, much faster than this. So I think you could also have a bit more Marines out. Uh, it might be a little less than that. Or like it might be like six minutes that the meters are out, but it's pretty fast. A good time to meet a uh, two base meter is pretty quick. Okay, so <clears throat> the thing you have to realize when you're facing two base meter is that 
you know that their third base is not going to be very saturated. So all you have to do is just sit back. That's it. You even have 1-1 one, one over him, and like you're timing it out pretty okay. And I would uh, build like a bunker or something right here, or like something to wall off. I think I think we've gone through this before too, actually, because uh, I think I practiced against you and did something similar like this to like do some multitask against you. But yeah, you want to get that bunker there, and maybe like a depot in the front or something like something to block off. This is really good though because he's not putting pressure on you and he took like a very bad economic build. So one thing, don't forget, try to every time, I think I've mentioned this before, even if you have to like care, like let the two tanks walk, or I mean go on the ground I mean, you could do one marine drop over here and it would do a lot of damage. I'm still even trying to do this in some of my games but it's definitely a huge impact, huge impact. But you were asking if your response to his pressure was good. And I, I think that, I think it was fine. I mean, it was a pretty straightforward game, to be honest. You're still even floating a lot, mineral, a lot of minerals in this game. Remember to follow up at your fourth and fifth racks a little sooner. And get your fourth base or get up to eight racks. So you got your fourth, fifth bar uh, barracks. And you add on three more barracks and then a factory and you can sustain all that off three bases but your early game seems fine i think that you scout you need to get in there and scout a little bit and i would say don't go in with the hellions like you did like i mentioned before and it's not even as fast as mutas can come out so just keep that in mind as well but yeah, I think you could have a fourth base on the way because your mine, your your main base is gonna mine out. So I actually get my fourth base before my eight barracks, and I get my fourth barracks, and then I get my eight barracks in the extra factory. That's how I've been doing it. Cause floating one point six k versus Zerg is crazy. That's like that's pretty huge. That could put you super behind because the lack of production versus Zerg could definitely kill you. But it, in, it ends up working out for you. But I would say, like I mentioned a couple times before in some of your games, to do a drop back here while pushing the front. But that's basically it. If you have like any extra questions or anything, just let me know. And then I'll respond to them on Discord or something. So just let me know. But yeah. I'll probably end up doing videos like this, putting them on YouTube and stuff for analyzing if I'm not streaming, but yeah.